What's up, Eric? What's going on, Justin? Oh, just living the dream. Just dreaming, living? living. Yeah, living and dreaming. I like it. Dreaming and living. Good deal, man. Welcome back, everybody, listening here to Trending Show. It's good. It's a good place to be, where we just talk about amazement and wonder. I would agree, and there's a lot of amazement and wonder Seriously. in today's list. Yeah, we're going to start off with, kind of on a kind of sad note. Yeah, I think that's. it's usually better to start sad and then get happy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because we'll, we'll build everyone up. Yeah. We're just going to knock them down. We're going to break you down, then build you up. Artist Pop Smoke uh, was actually killed in a home invasion robbery. It's so sad. And at this point, they don't know if he knew the people. I, th- I think they're guessing that he did not know the people. 4 a.m., right. house broken into, he was shot. In he the, I think shot. Hollywood Hills. Yes, in L.A. And, uh, and they... There's some footage of him coming out, and they're uh, trying to do you know life saving yeah. measures. That's always that's always tough to watch. But yeah. uh, I think the I think the hardest thing is he's 20 years old, oh, only 20 years old. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, ha- like like hasn't even lived. Do you know what I mean? And and right. obviously he's done some cool things. He's yeah. he's uh, had a big hit last year, I guess, uh, with Nicki Minaj, and uh, has done some work with Travis Scott and a bunch of other you know top tier artists, but. And he's, he's, he, he did all that by the time he was 20. Like, That's amazing. You know, what what more would his life have been? It's just right. sad, sad right. times. And for what? For right for a DVD someone, player, an right. iPhone, for yeah. some money? You know, yeah. like, why did they break in? It makes no sense. For what? Seriously. Ugh. So Terrible. Anyways, sad news. to his family and fans. Yes, absolutely. So rough. Absolutely. All right, let's, let's turn a corner here. Let's turn a corner. The next video I want to talk about is this isn't funny by Jack Septicai. Jack Septicai, excuse me, Jack Septicai, of course, is a gamer on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, does some pretty funny content. Um, so he just turned thirty. So he's celebrating oh. his celebrating his birthday wow. and uh, with a with a series on his channel where he, it's meme time. Right. So people send him a bunch of memes via Reddit and Twitter and a bunch of other stuff. And uh, dude, one. One in particular hit home to Eric. <laughs> hit home to me. Someone sent him a uh, the meme is when you remember Jack is red green colorblind. Ooh. So uh, it's a it's literally just a circle yeah. with uh, you know the typical like colorblind test. Yeah. They have you do in elementary school and whatnot to yeah. f- to figure out if you're colorblind. Mm-hmm. Well, your boy here is super colorblind. You Super are colorblind. And what and colors? Yeah, red, red, green, colorblind. So, yeah. what do you see in this thumbnail? So, I legit in this thumbnail am only seeing a glob of dots. What color are the dots? All together, it almost looks like sand to me. Okay, so like a light brown. It just looks, yeah, it just looks light brown. But, but the thing is with the colorblind test is it's that's a, that's what it is. It's a it's a collection of dots. Yeah, colored dots. But then yeah. within it is a is an image. Yeah, or a shape. Yeah. Or something like that. And uh, I don't see it. Do you see what's there? Uh, Pikachu and green. I think it's Pikachu. It's Pikachu. I see ears. I mean, you're just looking at the thumbnail. I see yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I see like marks on the cheeks. See, I think that's Pikachu. I'm not picking up any of that. Have you ever tried the colorblind glasses? I haven't. And I Dude. often wonder what that would like, what. Uh, what the difference would be because I'm not I, I I don't see black and white I see colors but the thing is I just see them different than you what does grass look like I see grass is grass is green so so I guess here let me um <laughs> let me tell you a story so when I was first of all here's how they found out I was colorblind they they pull you into the <laughs> they pull you into a uh the nurse's office in elementary school and they do like colorblind tests, uh, yeah. like kindergarten, right? Like you're yeah. starting. It's like it's like just a check that they did. Yeah. And I show up into the the nurse's <laughs> office, and she's got like five of these little circle dot things, right? So she puts she puts one on the table in front of me. Yeah. And I and she's like, okay, use your finger and draw the draw the the image or the shape that you see within those circles. So the first one, I was good. It was this, it was a square, and so okay. I'm like. Boop, 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 boop. And I do the square. She's like, okay. She gives me the next one. A little bit harder to see, but I knew it was an X. So I was like, okay, there's an X. Dude, she gives me the third one, which is like this red green. And she's like, and go ahead and do it. And I like froze. And I was like, I don't I don't see what? anything. But I'm a kindergartner and I don't want to tell her that I don't yeah. see anything. She's like, she's like, just use your finger, just like you did on the other ones, and, and draw what? the shape. And dude, I put my finger down. 
And I just start squiggling oh. and like doing this stuff. She's like, what is and wrong And then I'm done. <laughs> exactly. I look up at the nurse. She goes, no joke. This is what the nurse goes. She goes, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't see a shape. She's like, okay, honey. But anyways, it was just so funny. I, I'm just like, so anyways, that's how I found out I was what? colorblind. And then, you know, flash forward a couple years later. So my parents know at this point, blah, blah, blah. We're having dinner at our house and we're having some guests come over to dinner. Yeah. And my mom goes, hey, Eric, run upstairs and grab the green chair. You mean the light brown we chair, need, mom? We need, we need a green chair. We need that extra green chair for the table because we're having guests come. And I'm like, okay. And I go upstairs. She goes, it's in my sewing room. Dude, I go in the sewing room and I literally am just like looking around. I'm like, there is not a green chair in here. Like literally, I'm like, green chair? What is she talking about? Probably like seven. I'm like, what the heck? I come downstairs. I'm like, mom, there's not a green chair up there. <laughs> She's like, it's in front of my, it's in front of my sewing table. She goes, I go, no, mom, that's not a green chair. That's black. What? Dude. My whole, she had the same sewing chair in, in our house, like from my whole childhood. Yeah, the black one. I thought it was black. Yeah. It was like this, this like, it was almost like vinyl on the seat cover. And it was so, it was such a deep, dark green. Right. I always thought it was black. Wow. Yeah. Not like a grass green. It was like a deep, like But if grass green. gets like really like deep green, does it look black? Have you ever seen black grass? No, I've never seen black grass. No, okay. But dude, just for the longest time, I wow. thought this chair was black. Yeah, I mean that happens to me all the time with furniture. My my wife, her mom had a it was a purple. I come to learn it was a purple couch. I thought it yeah. was a black couch. I thought it was just a black couch. And she was like, "Why the heck would I ever have a black couch in this room with these colors?" I'm like, uh, I don't know. A lot of people <laughs> seem to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why did my mom have a black sewing chair? So, anyways, that's my colorblind story, and uh, that's wild. Yeah, there's some really important life lessons you learn in elementary school. Um, yeah. I learned um, to never trust a fart. Um, <laughs> my parents sent me to school in white shorts. <laughs> Worse, oh, no, no, it's messed up. And Dude. I had a tummy ache or whatever, and I was like, fine. I was in second grade, and I just let it happen. It's fine. I'm not a gassy person, but it happened. I was in second grade. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was remarkably wet. And I stood up and I had, it was like a crime scene of fecal matter <laughs> inside of my pants. And I went to the nurse. You talk about the nurse reminding me. I went to the nurse and she's like, uh, what can I do for you? And I said, I, uh, I pooped my pants. <laughs> I pooped. Turn my... around, take a and look. She's like, what? And I showed her and I was so embarrassed. So I just don't mess around. Yeah. With Did you wear those white shorts again? Uh, no, I think my mom threw them away. <laughs> my mom was the type of person who was like, no, we're not, we're not going to mess around no, with that. No, like, these are just, goners. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry about your color blindness. We got to get you those glasses. Dude, we should try those glasses. That'd be cool. Be, I'm just curious what it, what it, what difference it would make. Oh, life you know is what so I mean? good being a full seeing person, like being able to see all the colors. <laughs> the whole spectrum of colors is just fantastic. I don't get it. I wonder what. I want to see. Oh, I played my foot. Idea. Hey, hello. I wonder what it would be like for you to have them on and then take them off and say, "Okay, like those things, I see differently." You know, like what yeah, right, is it? right, like, yeah, the full spectrum. Yeah, to do one of these, yeah. just like look at a tree and then see the different shade yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. All right, coming in next is my boy Steve Harvey. He walks off the set of Family Feud. This is on the Family Feud channel. This blew my mind. So, oh man, the question was, what animal do women like? being compared to <laughs> and dog was on the list right yeah no the so yeah so at the beginning what is the first one that, she says a cat cat a cat yeah it's on the it's on the board they're like cool they bring it down they go they go to the family and then the next person the next family member says dog and steve harvey's like oh heck, no way no no way no way and sure enough ding survey says survey says ding oh. there's dog on there and he's just blown away he's like man i can't Dogs on there. You guys could say whatever the heck you want. Yeah. I'm, who know? I don't and even know. Someone said point. rabbit, and that wasn't on there. But yeah, dog bunny, was bunny. You know what I mean? But dog was um, uh, fox. Fox, I guess, is a good one. What's one, Justin? What's one that was not on this list that you think unicorn? Women would, uni oh, playing it Maybe. safe. Yeah, Maybe. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> playing yeah. It safe. yeah, no, for sure. Uh, oh, how about you? What do you unicorn? Think? Shoot. Uh, 
I don't know, man. Uh, not a monkey. Not yeah. Not a like they're they're the ones that you absolutely cannot say, right? Yeah. Like yeah, rhino or like elephant, elephant or water buffalo. Yeah, <laughs> donkey. Yeah. <laughs> but dog was on there. I was tripping out. I was like, really, really. really? And Steve Harvey is a master at what he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The way he interacts with the audience, mm-hmm. the way he interacts with the camera. No, There's no yeah. one better at that it's than him. So, he's so funny, man. He's so funny. He's a king of comedy, right? Back in the day, yeah, wasn't it kings of comedy? Yeah. It was all those, those, I think it was four of them, those four comedians. Yeah, dude, yeah. he is something else. So funny. All right, next one on the list, Renovating an Abandoned Racetrack, Part 1. And uh, this is by Cletus McFarland. Cletus. Dude's got a great mullet. And uh, he, in this video, he is pressure washing the bleacher seats of a, of an abandoned racetrack. Yeah. So these aluminum bleacher seats and I don't know there's, and it says here in parentheses, I'm just, re- I'm just noticing that it says extreme satisfaction. And yeah. that's a, instantly what I felt oh, as really? you're watching this, these, uh, these things get cleaned. Is there something about watching a before and after video of something yeah. that's so haggard, and like right. nasty, get, reborn up you know what i mean like and so they've got this pressure washer with this little disc and they're just sliding across the bleachers and it goes from like black tar dirty to just like shiny aluminum and it's like something about it you can just sit and watch those for hours i feel like right right, you know what i mean like like what's a what's a good before and after that you've seen that you just like sucked you in. Well, a little different, but those destruction channels where they like oh, throw yeah. oh, things yeah. into grinders or yes or smash stuff. Oh, I, uh, I love that. Yeah, uh, hydraulic press like crushes yes. stuff with hy- yes. There was a guy on YouTube who, for a time, was just crushing things with this giant industrial hydraulic press, and it wasn't just like crushing metal. It was like a laptop. laptop. Yeah. An yeah. iPhone, something so Air. fascinating. So I guess it goes both ways. It's like the before and after of like, like in this, it's something that's like gross and broken, turning clean and nice. It's like, oh, but then also something that's perfectly Seriously. fine getting crushed to nothing yeah. is another thing that just Yeah, I want to know what it looks like for some right. reason. Right. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. I that's the same thing happens to me with like cooking videos. Yeah. I don't cook. I don't yeah. like I'm not a I'm not a chef. I don't right. I don't spend time in the kitchen. But I can sit and wa- I can. They show me the. They show me the cinnamon roll. Yeah. I gotta see how they made that thing. Yeah. You know, I gotta see the ingredients going in. I gotta see yeah. it get baked. I gotta see it ice. Like, it's interesting. It's yeah. Interesting how those things just suck us in. I love it. So fun. All right. Next one. Ryan Newman is hospitalized. Hospitalized after a terrifying crash at Daytona 500. Um, <clears throat> scary. Yeah. This was scary. Yeah. Um, he's uh. Driving the Daytona 500s right at the finish, yeah. like right. I, I don't know if it was the last lap or last two laps or whatever. He gets bumped from behind, sends him in a skid. Car goes up, comes down, gets hit by another car. Anyways, terrible, terrible crash, terrible accident. Thankfully, um, uh, he's recovering. Yeah, he's recovering well. Um, he did have some uh, critical injuries, but he's recovering well. But NASCAR man is wild. It is but, like. These guys are going like 230 plus miles an hour mm-hmm. on those straightaways. And, um, dude, I had the opportunity to drive a NASCAR. In Vegas? In This was in uh, North Carolina. South Carolina. What? North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was like, it, it was an opportunity. We were working with a brand and um, they sponsored a NASCAR. And so they, they sent us out to their to the track. Yeah. And uh, with this NASCAR and the NASCAR driver, and they let us do the Richard Petty experience, Whoa. which is something you can do in Vegas, something yeah. you can do at most uh, NASCAR racetracks, okay. where it just you get to jump into a NASCAR, you have someone seated next to you, and you get to drive this beast of a vehicle. What? And, um, and it's called the Richard Petty experience. I always, I, the whole time I was there, I kept calling it the Tom Petty experience. <laughs> Like Tom Petty and I'm free. <laughs> free. Did you? Free how fast did you go? Falling. So that's the other fun thing is they clock your speed for you, so you know how fast you're going. I I think I topped out at like 117 miles an hour. What? And I felt like I was like warp speed. <laughs> really? And so feeling that way, driving this car, 
topped out at 117. And knowing that the guys are actually doing double that wow. on these straightaways wow. is like, I don't know, man. Wow. It's a trip, but it's so cool. They, they throw you in the car. Uh, you have someone who's telling you what to do. Um, it's a it's a stick. It's like Ooh, this isn't okay. the, this isn't an automatic transmission, right. man. This yeah. is like stick. And this car is basically this aluminum frame to keep you safe and a huge engine to wow. make you go fast. And um, and so they're the, yeah they're like they're uh, the person next to you is giving you pointers. You have a headset on just like this, okay. and they're just like, okay, now you're going to come into this turn. You take your foot off the gas. Like the last thing they want is for you to skid out on a turn. Anyways, that's and what then, I'm wondering. Does yeah, that happen? There's a technique. There's a thing. Yeah, man, you have to be super I mean, careful. I know, like the like when you're going 200 miles an hour, but like people doing the Tom Petty, the uh, <laughs> and I'm free. The, the experience. Are these like just these are just normal people who pay yeah. to do it? Yeah. Are there wrecks? You pay a fee. I think they. I think they've got it unlocked to where it's super. You know, it's there's okay. a. They keep it safe. I don't know that these cars will reach those as yeah, high speeds. Sure. Um, I want to say in the group of us that went, the guy who the guy who got the top speed was maybe at like 150 miles an wow. hour on that straightaway. Wow. But it just feels so insane. That's crazy. So uh, it's wild. I I had a huge. Res- I'd never watched NASCAR before. Yeah, never never had, like done any research, understood it at all. Uh, it was a cool experience to like get in yeah. a car, see how they operate, and see like just how every every component of this team has to work perfect has to do their job to a t right in order for the single driver to be successful on race day wow. down to the person who's putting the decals on the car because if there's bubbles if there's anything that's friction that like slows them down Whoa. if there's if this guy doesn't fill the tire to the exact psi right it slows him down it could cause an accident so it's crazy oh, it's man. Uh, yeah Pretty well, cool stuff. I don't know anything about NASCAR, yeah. but I learned yesterday that what might have saved him was a safety feature named after him from a previous wreck that he was in. Really? So his name's Ryan Newman, and there's a Ryan Newman bar. I don't know where it goes. I mean, I think it goes yeah. above your head somehow. Okay. I don't know anything. But that might have been the thing that saved his life. Wow. The thing that they made yeah. after him. Kind of cool. That's amazing. That's way yeah. cool. David Dobrik is hilarious. He's a funny, funny guy. This one is called Confessing His Love for My Assistant. And uh, so there's a few things going on in this video. One. um, There's a million things going on in the David Dobrik video. Let's let's be real. Go ahead. My favorite thing is towards the end where he gives a fan Mm -hmm. $25,000 via check and like $25 cash. (laughs) But then he took the cash back because he's like, I need to go to Taco Bell. Gotta hit up Taco Bell. (laughs) And then she's like, she says something like, ooh, Taco Bell? Yeah. And he's like, give me that check back. I need that. (laughs) That was the best. I need that. But this fan is a single mom, has a four-year-old. Yeah. Take care of her mom who just got out of surgery. Right. Three jobs and in school. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. What Uh, a cool thing to be able to do that for a fan, you know, to, to, that's going to change that girl's life. You know what Big I mean? Time. That's Big a huge uh, turning point for her, I'm sure. And um, just just goes to show that, like, there's good people out there, man. Yeah. There's just good people in this world. And uh, it's really, really cool that, that he did that. And just, like, and the delivery, the best part is the delivery is not, hey, look at me. I'm David Dobrik, and I'm right. I'm philanth- philanthropic, and I'm going to give this girl $25,000. Praise right. me. It's like it's like, hey, here's <laughs> twenty five, twenty six bucks, everything in my wallet. That's that's all I can do. Oh, and oh, here's a check for twenty five grand. <laughs> right. Just like you know, totally joking. She's super appreciative. She starts to cry, and then him being like, oh, you don't like talk about? It? Give me that check back. <laughs> Too funny, man. So good. And her boyfriend kind of set it all up. We'll set up the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder if afterwards the boyfriend was like, dude, I need a finder's fee on that twenty five thousand. Ten percent. I'm gonna man. take. I take a cut. Coming up next, the Puppy Olympics Aww. challenge. Aww. Maybe we can do an awe track like a. Aww. Do you know good. what's great about this thumbnail? Yeah. What's uh, great about it? You have the dog, so there's depth. And so yeah. when you're looking at YouTube thumbnails, when you look at creating one, you need some something for the eye to look at initially. Yeah. Usually a set of eyes is the best. Okay. But something else in the distance for them to have two kind of emotional experiences too. So. Uh, the dog is first up, and then boom, you see the person in the back, and yeah. you're probably going to click it because of that. Yeah. Just and, and the colors. And you know we did. 
<laughs> and you know we did. And I'm a thumbnail nerd, and this is a great one. Such a nerd. So we're dog guys. We we have dogs. Sure do. What kind of dog do you have? So I have a golden doodle. Yeah. Which is a, a golden retriever poodle hybrid. She's combo. super smart, super sweet. Oh, I love her. She's like she's a part of the family. Yeah. All day, every day. She's my pride and joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, kids. Just kidding. Just kidding. We love our kids, too. Shout out to Poppy. Anyways, you got a dog, too. Australian Shepherd Border Collie. He's great. He's a member of the family. He's great, He's dude. fantastic. He's, does he still love balloons as much? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you fill give, up a balloon and hit it, and he'll keep it up in the air for a while. Dude, you give, you give that dog a balloon, and yeah. it's, it's like game over yeah like that was a game i used to play as a kid like me don't too. let the balloon touch the ground me but too. he has mastered it <laughs> me too did you ever tell like your brother like hey go blow up the black balloons but they're actually green <laughs> no he's like what, what? what? what's the black balloons we don't, we, don't, we don't have any uh, black balloons sorry to go back to the colorblind yeah, thing no, but no, when i was good. super young i thought colorblind meant things were invisible <laughs> i wasn't very smart i was just sitting in class pooping my pants but <laughs> but <laughs> But I thought colorblind, like, all right. I mean, a blind person cannot see. So if you're colorblind, you can't see colors. Everything's invisible. Just that thing's invisible. <laughs> like down to what? Just clothes? I didn't like, think about clothes. it. <laughs> I put my pants, man. I don't know. <laughs> I had been out of diapers for like six years. <laughs> I just trusted it. I trusted my body in a way that I shouldn't have. <laughs> So in the Puppy Olympics, they race some puppies in a real humane, cute way. Yep. And it is probably the most adorable thing I've seen in a long yeah. time. If you're into puppies and you're into things cute, check out this video for sure. One, two, three. Every time, man. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. I, this is how, okay. One, two, three. There we go. The funniest thing just happened. So <laughs> when we cue up the audio or video, we have to clap because it puts a spike in the audio and it puts a spike in no, the video. Nowhere to match it. You know what I mean? So it's easier. My boy every over time. Here. <laughs> my boy no, over every here. time. Every time I try to cue it up, it's like my hands decide to just turn into clumps of non-usable <laughs> things. So I go one, two, three. <laughs> You can't hear any. Properly, it might be like one, two, three. See, how do you? I think it's my angle. I'm trying to do it. One, two, three. <laughs> do you get arthritis all of a sudden? <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, that actually, that actually worked. Maybe I should just funniest. start punching my hand. Better than that is the look of disappointment in your face when you realize you don't know how to Every clap. Every time. But then you're like, I'm a crossword guy who pooped his pants in second grade, so I'm I'm in good company. I'm colorblind. I don't know how to clap. <laughs> <laughs> so Garth Brooks came to town, and my yes. typical taste of music is not country. I think you could say yours is same. not country. Yeah. I saw he was coming to town, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go out on a limb and see if Eric's into Garth. And Eric sent me a video message back, almost in tears, like, dude, I'm dude, so excited. Thanks for telling me about so this. I am so into it, and we are so going. And they shot a video, like a music video. Yeah. The show we were at. Yeah. So cool. set the stage. This the the show was at uh Albertson Stadium mm-hmm. here in Boise. So mm-hmm. Boise State where they play football Smurf and that's, turf. that's the stadium. Yep. The Smurf Turf, the 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 famous blue field. Yep. And so Garth Brooks sold out show two nights in a row. Stadium stadium holds forty thousand people. Yeah. Uh sold out. We had an opportunity to go. It was so good. And the night we went, Garth Brooks uh, had just recorded a song with Blake Shelton. Of course, like top of the heap. Yeah. He's he's doing amazing music and he's a excuse me, a judge on the this voice. This is the right? voice. This is the voice. Anyways, they come out and they he comes out from underneath the stage and they film their or I'm sorry, they they perform their song. And they filmed a video. They filmed so a music good. video for and it. And that was just released yesterday. Yes. And I watched it like 10 times. Yes. It was so good. Amazing. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's so funny that we were able to connect over Garth. Like oh, so being good. like, absolutely, country is not <laughs> playing in my car. It's no. not playing on my my smart device. Like nothing. Yeah. But Garth is like special place. It's special, man. You know it's what special, I mean? It's special. <laughs> and... 
Dude, um, another funny thing about that show is the audio system cut out. Yes. Like 15, 20 minutes into the show, mm-hmm. it just stopped working. Yeah. How big is the stadium? 40,000 people? 20,000? Yeah, 40,000 40, people. And he's on stage. No one can hear him. Right. But he's running back and forth, still entertaining everyone. Still and getting after it. Still finishing the song. Yeah. So, like, their instruments were working, but we could not hear anything. Mm-hmm. And he still just... Yeah, just kept it going. Just kept it going, man. It was great. It was amazing. And, uh, yeah, no, it was just, just a cool experience. I saw the video finally dropped. This was summer of last year that we went, and I'm still buzzing about it, man. Still buzzing. So there was another concert that was heading to town, and I went out on a limb... Didn't go as well. I thought Bone Thugs and Harmony we might be able to vibe off of. <laughs> and Eric's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I I'm don't good. know that I'm going to go to I'm that good. one with you. <laughs> I've got plans that night. Oh, Eric, I didn't tell you what day it is. Oh, yeah, I got plans that I'm night too. I'm pretty sure I got plans. <laughs> so funny. Bum, 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 bum. Tell me what you're going to do when I know how to run. The judgment comes for you. It's going to come for you. See you at the crossroads. Crossroads. Change it up. So good, man. So good. So good. I mean, that's my that's my level of appreciation for Bone. There were that's a few a songs song. that were like that were yeah. great. I just don't know Bone Thugs twenty five years later going to a show. What does that look like? You know, I that's why know. you just you just wanted to find out. I just want to know, man. <laughs> I want to know. I miss my uncle Charles. Yo, when I'm gonna be home in front of his home? What did I do? do <laughs> oh no. no. Gotta be strong. Gotta, gotta stay long. Gotta, gotta be on. Good, good times. So good. Good times. So good. And you're welcome to everyone listening and watching. You're very for that Musical interlude. Uh, fantastic list. Amazing list. So much fun. YouTube is the place. It is the it's place. And if you're watching us here on YouTube, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. We would love for you to subscribe if you're listening to us over on a podcast. We're always appreciative of those five star reviews. And. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.